I don't really care about Jamie Foxx. Jamie says he's a friend of mine. Jamie's not a friend of mine. I've had him on the show a couple of times. Well, showbiz friends. When you yeah. do each other's shows, you're friends. I don't consider him a friend anymore. He seems to want to start in with me, wants to say I'm irrelevant, and he's taking pokes and jabs at me and then saying he loves me. Uh, I don't. I'm not feeling the love. <laughs> the, the crew started in with me. I'm not. I'm not some who's going to sit here and take it and listen to some bullshit. And quite frankly, I'm going to end it now because you know what? I got a load of stuff on Jamie, which isn't a lot of fun. And if you want to start, you know, start in with me. Even the name Jamie Fox. It's interesting you chose the name Jamie. I could get into the whole fucking deal. And the thing is, is that I don't dislike the guy. He's a very talented guy. I'm not taking that away from him. He seems to be into some bizarre thing where he wants to start in with me so that he can get some attention for his channel on the Fox Hole, which is an interesting name, too. Right. About the hole. I wonder which hole they're referring to. Um, how many holes are in Jamie? He's got an ass and he's got a mouth. And I don't know what he does with him. But here's the thing. Uh, I like Jamie. I'm not going to take it any further. I don't think his crew should have started. If we're all playing on the same team, don't what start in with start? me. Yeah. And uh, I'm not going to let it escalate. Jamie can say what he wants because no one's going to hear it anyway. You know, uh, I'm not going to open up the next can of worms. Jamie's got enough in his life to deal with. It ain't a bed of roses. Let's put it that way. All right. Thank you. Gee, you ought to tell me. I, I would love to know. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'm not. You know what? I, I won't take not it. Not you. I mean, not me on the air. Mm -hmm. Me in person. Me, me in behind the scenes. I'd like to. Yeah, know. you know what? And be a man. Come in here and say it right to our faces. Come in here and tell Robin she's a, a house. N and come in here and tell me how irrelevant I am. Come here, man to man, and talk to me. If you really have a bug up your ass about me, and we're on the same team. But my guess is we're probably not on the same team. I think he's playing for a way different team. <laughs> okay? That's what I think. Mm. But I'm not... There's a whole bunch of stuff I could say if I really wanted to get into doing the dozens with Jamie. But um, I'll skip it. How old is he anyway, Jamie? 40-something? Yeah. I wonder if he's going to settle down pretty soon. With a, maybe with a... Find a nice maybe girl. Find a nice girl and settle down. Oh, maybe. Girl. He's got to find the right. He can't find the right girl. Can't find the right girl. Okay. All right. <laughs> hey, he's trying. He's trying. It's hard out there. All right, there. but anyway, but I don't know what the bug up his ass is. So I don't know what's up his. Ass. <laughs> it's none of my business. You know, if he's got something in his ass, that's his business. <laughs> if it's irritating, you should take it out. Right. Pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> you ever had anything in your ass, George? What's it like? Well, it feels uh, very engorged. <laughs> it's, engor it's, it's a lot to take, right? It's a lot. So eventually you Sometimes take Sometimes there's pain there. That's right. So eventually you take it out, don't you? <laughs> Indeed you do. Exactly. <laughs> so, Jamie, here's my advice. Take it out of your Everything uh, comes it. down Last to sex. <laughs> But we are not friends, you know. Don't talk shit about me and say we're friends. We're not. Doesn't sound like. No, it doesn't sound like you want me as a friend. Sounds phony. Yeah, and that's okay. I'll live. I'll live my life without being your friend, and I'm okay with that.